Welcome, Don. Can you tell our viewers about yourself, your company, as well as your role there? My name is Don Bubar. I'm president and CEO of Avalon Advanced Materials. Avalon is a specialty minerals and metals company. Uh, right now, we are focused primarily on lithium, but are a diversified play on technology metals, those commodities that have emerging markets in new technologies such as energy storage and renewable energy. Please tell us a bit about the Separation Rapids Lithium Project in Northern Ontario. Yes, our current priority is our Separation Rapids uh, Lithium Project. It's located near uh, Kenora, Ontario. So uh, we first acquired it in 1996. And in 1996 to 99, uh, we uh, did a lot of work on it, uh, drilled off a large resource that uh, we did a pre-feasibility study on, looking at the potential to bring it in production as a producer of a unique lithium mineral called petalite, which is valued for making thermal shock resistant glass ceramics. That business model didn't get off the ground then uh, because the market uh, changed on us. The lithium ion battery was starting to get used in um, things like mobile phones. And I knew there would be a few more demand for it in the future. And sure enough, that's what we're seeing today is um, a new opportunity to move this project forward and bring it into production based on the rapidly growing demand for lithium in lithium ion batteries for applications in automotive and home energy storage. How does this project differ from the other lithium plays that have emerged as a result of Tesla's lithium battery production? Lithium is a, a very common element in the uh, Earth's crust and it's found in a number of uh, quite different uh, geological settings. There are hard rock deposits. It also occurs in other uh, resources, notably uh, saline brines from which there's uh, production of lithium as a byproduct from a number of locations in uh, South America. And some companies are looking at uh, other uh, similarly low-grade uh, lithium resources in, in clays that offer, again, uh, large resources and perhaps uh, lower um, mining costs to, uh, to develop. At the end of the day, uh, lithium is not really a traditional commodity. Um, it's really a specially engineered chemical product that needs to be produced and designed to the needs of the customers in the marketplace that you're uh, planning to serve. With this project, that's what we've been doing over the last year, is um, looking at it again as a potential source of lithium for this new market in lithium ion batteries and how we can most efficiently process this ore to uh, make the form of lithium that is needed in uh, lithium ion batteries. And uh, we're just about uh, completed uh, that work and we'll be announcing uh, the results of a preliminary economic assessment uh, in uh, September of this year. What's your opinion on the current lithium boom and do you think it's sustainable? Yes, it is. The supply-demand fundamentals are what's driving the uh, uh, growing interest in, in lithium and the boom in uh, activity around developing new sources of supply. Um, demand is outstripping the supply side's ability to keep up, uh, creating opportunities for uh, new producers to emerge to uh, serve this market. Uh, everybody agrees amongst the analysts covering the sector that uh, this growth will continue. The lithium ion battery is clearly the energy storage solution of choice for uh, uh, electric vehicles and home energy storage for at least the next uh, 10 years and probably longer. And new sources of supply will be needed to, uh, to meet the rapidly growing demand. What do your shareholders have to look forward to in the next 12 to 18 months? Well, once we complete our preliminary economic assessment on uh, separation rapids, then we will be looking to move forward to take it through feasibility. Uh, in the short term, that means um, uh, finding partners to work with us to um, uh, develop the project. And given the interest uh, in the downstream and securing uh, supplies of lithium, there is uh, lots of opportunities emerging for us to find development partners to provide capital and potentially um, act as uh, customers for the end products uh, going forward and assist us in moving this project um, forward quickly. Because we have a long history there, um, we see a relatively short path to uh, getting this uh, through feasibility to production. 
Uh, we have to do a little bit more drilling, but we essentially drilled off a resource in the 1990s. Uh, we've done a lot of environmental assessment work. We've done a lot of engineering, community engagement. Uh, we're well known in the Kenora area there now. So um, with sufficient uh, access to capital, uh, we have a clear path to uh, moving this project through feasibility to production over the next uh, three to four years. And given the interest in lithium, we are going to make that our uh, top priority. Thanks for joining us today, Don. My pleasure.